Well, it's the first time I've been able to say this in more than a year and a half. Lynn Archer from the Brass Compass Cafe and Archers on the Pier in Rockland is with us in the 207 Kitchen at Main Studios. Boy, this feels good. So nice to have you here. It's so nice to be back. What is on the menu today? Well, this is seafood pie. We serve it at Archer's. Mm -hmm. It's Walt's favorite dish. He orders it almost every time. Your husband? Every time, except for peanut butter and jelly, which we won't <laughs> talk about right now. But it's a super simple, really, really, really fast dish. Okay. So. What do you, you got going here? Some butter that you melted? Half a, half a stick of butter, mm -hmm. melted, get your pan hot. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm making it for, this, this amount is probably going to make enough for th three or four people okay. or two waltz. <laughs> so it's a haddock filet, right. four or five scallops, about a half pound of shrimp, and that's what you start with. You want to cook it fairly quickly. Seafood, real fast, real quick, and your butter should be bubbling just like that. Yep. This cooks in less than five minutes. Okay. And overcooked seafood is a sin against nature. Absolutely, it doesn't work. So, and while that's cooking, I'll talk about Newberg. What do you got here? So this is a, the other half of the stick of butter. It's, and you can adapt this if you're gluten-free, you can use about a quarter cup of cornstarch instead of, I use uh, flour, so a quarter cup of flour, and about a quarter cup of, well, maybe a half cup of heavy cream, and then a good splash of sherry, okay. cooking sherry. Yep. And then I use the juice of a fresh lemon because that just goes good with seafood. No substitute for that, yeah. No. And as you can see, this is almost done. How do you know when it is ready? When the fish is cooked through, mm -hmm. that's your key because shrimp doesn't take long and neither do scallops. So Is this a little tricky though? Because you've got a decent sized piece of haddock in there and I would think that the shrimp would cook faster than the haddock. They do. But it it's not really, a big deal. it's not a big it. deal. Okay. They all really cook about the same amount of time. Okay. Because when they go into the casserole, when you pour this on top and they go into the casserole, then it's basically you bring it up to a bubble and you finish it with some crumbs, put it in the oven, real hot oven, mm -hmm. about 425, 10 minutes, you're done. And of course, at the restaurant, we have uh, broiler, so we just actually, it's already cooked, okay. so you just put it under the broiler, which you can do in your home if you want yep, to. Yep. But you can see that's basically almost done. And it's going to finish really, really quickly. So, you know, restaurant cooking, it has to be fast. You want to put out your meals, and you want to put out the best product. So, I love what my friend Tina always says. You cook the best food because you use the best freshest products you can possibly buy. Fresh, fresh fish. So that's really about it and until you add. I can see why Walt likes this dish. Yeah. I can see why a lot of people like this dish. It's, it is one of our best sellers. You know, and I, and I haven't done this, but I'm, as I'm cooking this, I'm thinking about this. This would be beautiful over pasta. Yes, it would. And it, so I bake it in casserole because I'm not a huge pasta eater, and plus, I just like it just that natural, mm -hmm. whatever. But this nice dish, if you poured that over pasta, beautiful. This is a great dish, too, as the weather gets cooler. Uh, good, hearty, stick to your ribs kind of meal. Yep, and that's it. You just pour it in the casseroles, just like that. Top it with some crumbs. And I love Ritz crackers. I think they're buttery and nice. So I usually use either bread crumbs or Ritz cracker crumbs, just like that. And as I said, 425 in the oven. You can pop it under the broiler for five minutes because it is already fully cooked. And your meal is ready that quickly. So that's it. The recipe for the seafood pie is, of course, on our website and app. Just go to the, new, to the 207 section of newcentermain.com, and you're going to find the recipe and more information about Archers on the Pier and the Brass Compass Cafe, Lynn's Two Restaurants in Rockland. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's wonderful to be back. Stick around. We're going to be back with more of 207 right after this.